at least they were in my neighborhood, shoveling the snow. Mm. Do you hear that, Brookings girls? <laughs> Get no, those shovels out no, before no, I have no, to come no. home. <laughs> I bet they're inside with mom just having a ball. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, the kids, the kids like it. Uh, skiers like it, a lot of people. Pretty impressive snow for in central New York. Wasn't a record. This isn't going to go down in the record books, Michael. And quieter weather has moved in. All right, here's what you need to know for tonight. We do have some snow that's going to redevelop, but it's going to be light lake effect snow, some flurries. Boy, if we get two inches, I would be surprised. There's not going to be a lot to the south southeast of the lake. Winds will shift, though. That takes the snow up to the north or east of Lake Ontario during the afternoon on Thursday. And that sets up concern for those areas up north for heavier lake effect snow. As the temperature comes down tomorrow night and the winds are better aligned, I feel the snow could be heavy at times, especially Jefferson County from Watertown down through the northern half of Oswego County. So pretty much east of Lake Ontario. Still picking up some good Hefty snowfall in eastern New York State from Binghamton down to Glens Falls and Albany. One mile visibility. This shows you how heavy or intense the snow is. It's three miles in Rome and Ithaca, so the snow very light in those locations and it is dry here. We've got some snow and limited visibility out to the west as well. That's the lake effect that's going to be developing and you can see out there it's all white, and very light on live tripled off the radar brought to us by fossil service experts. We still have one band of moderate to heavier snow in our southeastern counties, but a lot of central New York absolutely dry. So the DPW crews continue to do a fantastic job clearing off the roads. And we said if you could just wait until late in the evening, it'd be better for travel versus the mid portion of the day. So it was nice to have less people on the roads. Eastern Shenango, Otsego, Southern Herkimer County, where the heavier snow is right now. You can forget about that in about two more hours. You will be dry as well. So quickly moving off that snow being replaced with some light lake effect, some flurries south southeast of the lake at 11 o'clock going through the overnight that continues southeast of the lake. So overnight to the east of the lake. Pretty quiet stuff. As we go through tomorrow, the winds west northwest shifting to west. That's going to begin to lift this towards midday. And by the afternoon, we'll get some breaks of sunshine and odd flurry. But there you see the snow east of the lake that strengthens tomorrow evening. Could be heavy at times. And that's going to come down with up to six inches of snow tomorrow night east of the lake. Maybe a little bit more too as we go into uh, Friday morning. So one to two inches expected by 8 a.m. southeast of the lake, including Syracuse. Light snow develops off the lake. We'll find some minor blowing and drifting snow. Low temperature. Temperature tonight, 14. For tomorrow, we'll take this. It's just some light snow and flurries moving east of the lake. Chilly in 23. Be on guard east of the lake, though, by late day through tomorrow night. Heavier lake effect snow. Area wide system moves in with mainly light snow by midday on Friday. There'll be some accumulation in the afternoon and evening. 27, 36 with snow early and late on Saturday. The daytime is mostly quiet with some breaks of sun. New system Sunday with rain and snow at times. 38, a little bit milder and much quieter Monday through next Wednesday. Michael.